Hey, hi, hello, it's Casey. Welcome to my vlog. Today we are at a very windy, rainy Nassau, Bahamas. Bye, Mickey! Wishes to come true! Pouring rain, Nassau, Bahamas. Yeah, let's check it out. As you can see by the air and my hair, it is really, really gross weather today, which is perfect for being in the Bahamas, right? Today is day two of the cruise, but we did a bunch of adventures this morning already. We have lots of adventures to go on today. We have Arendelle, a frozen themed dining for our dinner tonight at 8.15. It's 1.18 p.m. and we've already done so much and I vlogged all of that in a different vlog, but we have, tonight we're gonna go hide a bunch of our pixie dust things that we made. We made a bunch of magnets and coasters and stuff. We have a bunch of these to go hang and they all say you've been pixie dusted on them. Coasters. We also made coasters. Look, they have the underneath our sticker that says you've been pixie dusted. They have the cruise line logo. If you can tell, we made them in blue and red because those are all over the floor. So we made them in blue and red because those are like Disney cruise colors. We 3D printed a bunch of coasters. We made all of the magnets with our laser. So we were super crafty and we created a bunch of custom things that people can take home. And it's like just a fun little pixie dust surprise. We should be in the Bahamas, but it looks like this. So we're not. And neither is anyone else, which means that the ship is really, really packed. Let's go adventure. We're gonna start by dropping off the magnet exchange magnets that we need because we joined a magnet exchange and everyone else has already given theirs to us, but we haven't given ours to them yet. For our magnet exchange, we made one that says happy birthday, Peyton. So we're gonna give this to Peyton. We found this room that has a lot of different ones. So we're gonna give them one of these. Where do I put it? They have so many. You've been pixie dusted. Happy birthday, Diamond. We found another one and it's their birthday. So we're gonna pixie dust them. Elevator dance. The hallways are all the same, so it feels like you're just walking an endless loop, but it's cool to see all the different door decorations. These little whiteboards are ones that we gave out to people, so it makes me happy to see that people are using them and putting them out. <sighs> These stairs hurt. <laughs> just wanted to give you a quick update on the weather in the Bahamas really quick. In case you were wondering, it's still absolutely pouring. We've been inside the whole day. I think Pirate Night's gonna get canceled. We're just kind of hanging out right now because there's no activities going on. There's not really a whole lot going on right now. 8610. Uh, buffalo chicken wings? That's all. Thank you so much. So we just ordered a room service again because the thought of going to fight people for a table was not super appealing. We've already eaten everything that there is to eat twice now. At least we're trying some new stuff on the room service menu. Fun fact, if you ask for Mickey bars, they will give them to you, even though it's not on the menu. The Mickey ice cream premium bars. So I'm excited about that. It's like six bucks at Disney World, by the way. Six dollars. And you can't order soda from room service. You have to get soda at the pool, which is two and a half decks up. So it's kind of far. And on the other side of the ship. I was like, is water included? And she was like, I can give you one tap water. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So that'll be here in 30 to 40 minutes, but we're just gonna kind of hang out in the room. We wanted to sit out on the balcony, but it is still pouring and our entire balcony is soaked. So the weather here is great. Uh, we're leaving Nassau at 5.30. So until then, we're just gonna hang out. Buffalo wings, cheeseburger. Our room service has just arrived. Let's open it. Oh, tomato soup and grilled cheese. This is the thing I was most excited about. Burger and french fries. Mickey bars. Oh, that looks good. Cheesecake. It's now a little bit later like two hours later and the weather is a little better that was a joke the weather's not any better at all so um the outdoor stuff isn't really happening right now there's really nothing happening outdoors and we don't know if pirate night is happening or not we're gonna go explore the ship and do uncharted adventures it's basically like a scavenger hunt around the ship i believe it's brand new and it's really cool so to get to Uncharted Adventures in your app, you go to the home page. Then if you scroll down, you get to Disney Uncharted Adventure. Watch the story unfold. Let's see what it says. We have to go to Deck 4 Neverland Cinema. 
We were just about to leave and we got stuff in our fish extender. We got ducked by a family earlier, so we're gonna go duck them back. It's Pyre and Mickey. Shut up on the screen. Not great, just good. <laughs> so now we have to go to deck 10 to the underwater Luca art. Okay, we found them, and the really cool thing about this is that they look like normal artwork, but when you activate the app with the game, they start moving. Ha, dog! You're just who I need to talk to. Tilt your device back and forth. up and down like a pump to lift the pedestal. Yeah. We just came down the stairs and Matt was like, oh, our duck's still over there. And I was like, we didn't put that one there. Someone found our duck and re-hit it. Tilt your device. Awesome. Give me some pig. No, I'll get it. Okay. Now, you have to make some money. We're gonna take a break from the Uncharted Adventures right now because we've been doing that for like an hour. We're going to Donald's Cantina to go get some Mexican food. It's 4.45 right now. At 5.15, we're gonna go to Family Disney Tunes Trivia. We're in line at Donald's Cantina. This is cool because it's literally Chipotle. You can build your own burritos, tacos, and bowls. White rice, please. Chicken. Cheese. Thank you so much. I got a burrito bowl from Donald's Cantina, as you saw. And we have NASA as our view. Look at the pretty buildings down there. We just finished eating, and now we're gonna go get some ice cream. And then head over to Family Disney Tunes Trivia at 5.15. Just vanilla, please. Thank you. Are we feeling good about question number one? Yes! We did really bad at Disney Tunes Trivia. Captain Hux, me, and Chip and Dale are meeting right now. Because it's pirate night. The boat is rocking so much you could like can't stand straight. I love this. <laughs> he does not like this. So we're outside of shutters and we're gonna look at our pictures that we got from the princess gathering. That's a cute one. <laughs> That's a cute one. How much are they? Just out of curiosity. So if you buy the digital one, twenty dollars for the photo. For one? Hundred and fifty dollars for ten pictures. Wow, or $230. They have lots of photo spots around the ship that you can get photos done at, but this is just one of the things we did. You can just hand them your phone when you get any of the photo pass photos done, and they'll take them with your phone, and then you have it for free. So it's quite expensive, but they are really good quality, and they do have photo locations all over the ship and with the characters. So we're walking upstairs to head back to our room right now. You quite literally can't walk straight without getting thrown to the side. So we're going to go back up. And just hang out for a little bit. We don't have dinner. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can't walk straight. We don't have dinner for two more hours. So it's been a little while. We went back. The ship is like super rocky right now and walking down these hallways <laughs> it's literally throwing us side to side. I wish you could feel this through the camera but also I don't because it's not fun. But it is freezing so I have acquired 17 different sweatshirts. Not really just mats on top of mine and it's pirate night tonight so normally throughout the day they have disney songs playing but for the last four hours it has just been constant yo ho yo ho pirate slave for me and honestly for the first six replays i was like i dig this and now i'm like can we go back to like under the sea or like literally anything else I really like the music that they've been playing on board because it's not just like straight Disney songs, it's been Disney songs with a twist the whole cruise. Like it's all the original songs with remixes, so it's nice because it's not repetitive, it doesn't get boring or old. It's really cute. I like it. It's too early at this time to state if that's going to be able to go ahead. We are headed into a direction with hopefully smooth up weather conditions. They cleared out. The entire area over here for the pirate party that might not even happen. But now Mickey and Minnie that used to meet out here will be meeting in the Grand Hall. It's a windy day. I like it. 
nice. There's nobody here. Windy, huh? Just a little. So the giant mass of people that we just saw was all for the Mickey and Minnie pirate celebration, which is normally supposed to be out on the pool deck, but is now in the Grand Hall, which can very clearly not accommodate that many people efficiently, and everybody's crammed together, tripping over everyone, children are running around. That is chaotic and really stressful. And an event that I probably would have gone to outdoors, I will not be going to, because that's crazy. We are ready for pirate night. We are heading to dinner at Arendelle. We're going to be late, so we got to go right now, but this is the fit for pirate night. Show me your fit. That's the fit. We kind of match. It was the piratiest thing we could do last minute. <laughs> Headed to Arendelle for dinner. Oh. We're going to meet Anna and Elsa. It's going to be great. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you more of an Anna or an Elsa person? Let it go. Honestly. <laughs> One of the perks of having the same server for every single, like they follow you through every dinner you have on the ship. And we asked for plain rolls last time and Diet Coke and Coke and they remembered from last night. We didn't even have to ask for it. That's really sweet. Also, here's the menu for Frozen. Our bread plate has Anna and Elsa on it. And it's all super wealthy. <laughs> Right? He did. It's a I'm really time. impressed. I mean, it's his first one he's ever planned, so he's a little bit nervous. Oh. I think it's going well so far. <laughs> Enjoy the celebration. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I got the Arendelle, I don't remember how to pronounce it, but I'll put it on the screen here. And then we got a ribeye to try. And then Matt got sirloin steak and white rice. We just got our dessert menu. And honestly, I really like this, and I want all of it. That all sounds really good. There's four crayons here. You need to make them into two. And Matt took one and snapped it in half, and we were left with three. And the guy was like, hey, no. How does that make it two, though? Honestly? Is that right? One plus one? Yeah. <laughs> He's good. He's good. cake and the butter cake that has berries and Matt got a chocolate sundae. I count from this side. Okay, one, two, three, four. It's the correct answer, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. It's the correct, right? Now, I need you to count from this side, okay? It's gonna be one, two, three, four. That's gonna be. Okay. One more. What? Don't break them. Uh, okay. <laughs> we just finished dinner and now we're gonna head back up to the room and change into something warmer because it's freezing outside. And then we're gonna head to the pirate party and fireworks. Just came back to the saddest site. These are the papers that they give you to put the gratuities in, which is awesome because you can tip your servers if you want to. Well, you should. <laughs> to tip your servers, you fill these out and then you can either give them this or leave it in the room and they'll give it to them. But that means the cruise is coming we to an end. We did <laughs> We did just get on. This is sad. Also, he made us a towel animal monkey. It has golden coin eyes. He's cute. Oh, What's his name? Fred? Yeah, I think Fred. so. Yeah. <laughs> and dinner was delicious. We have the best servers. They're awesome. The show... <laughs> I'll talk about that in my review video, but the show was interesting. Uh, you couldn't really see the stage from, I would say, more than half of 
the restaurant. It was chaos, but the show was cute, the idea was cute, uh, and we really enjoyed the food, and the servers are awesome. You have the same servers every single night when you go to the dining rooms. We really like our servers, and they already know us. They already had our drinks and bread and everything at the table, so we didn't even have to order it, which is awesome. I'm gonna change into leggings and a sweatshirt because it's freezing, and we're gonna head to pirate night. We're probably gonna go to like deck 12 or 13 to avoid most of the chaos because there was also my boyfriend's a pirate. Yo ho! Um, pirates play for me. <laughs> As you saw earlier, the Grand Hall was mass chaos, and I would assume that Pirate Night would be just like that. If you were a pirate, what would your name be? I don't know. Mine would be Captain Fivehead. That's what it looks like with this on. Hey, yay, yay. I mean, yo ho ho. Oh, hey, I like it a lot. All right, I changed, I'm warmer now, and we're gonna head to Pirate Night. So we made it up to deck 13, and the whole cove entrance is blocked off. I think that's probably because of the fireworks, but the crowds to watch the pirate show are insane. Wondering. They are still indeed blasting Yo Ho, the pirate's life for me, through the ship. Name this commercial. I have no idea. We're going to bed. <laughs> Is that your new, uh, new dance? <laughs> Doors open. I just wanted to show how small it was. <laughs> <laughs> 